On August 29th, British MP and Press TV presenter George Galloway was assaulted near his home in West London as he posed for photos with members of the public. A 39-year-old man, Neil Masterson, was arrested near the scene of the crime on suspicion of assault. He was later charged by police. Masterson appeared at Isleworth Crown Court on Monday. He was charged with two counts of assault on Galloway and one count of religiously aggravated common assault. He pled guilty to the assault charges, but not guilty to the charge of religiously aggravated common assault. I think we were all really shocked when we saw the news that George Galloway had been attacked. I wasn't shocked in the fact that such attacks take place. Uh, our organisation gets reports of these over and over again, and actually we get a lot of reports from many pro-Palestinian activists over the years, historically, of being attacked by uh, pro-Zionists, basically, and Zionists. I think what was shocking about this is that he's such a high-profile figure and the fact that someone felt that they could actually go and do this in public. In the week running up to the attack, Masterson had made numerous violent threats to Galloway, in one post threatening to cut his throat. Just days later, he launched his attack close to Galloway's home, making his online posts even more ominous. Advocacy groups say more should be done to combat threats of violence made online, a phenomenon which is growing in the current climate of increasing Islamophobia. Sadly, there's not only uh, a discrepancy or a failure by authorities to take online hatred seriously, there's actually a double standard, again with Muslims and other marginalised communities kind of feeling the brunt of neglect. If you're inciting someone to be killed or generally inciting for violence against a group of people, you have to be brought to account and that is a criminal matter. Masterton's lawyer argued for him to be released on bail until the beginning of the trial, which the prosecution argued against. The judge ruled in favour of the prosecution, saying that there was a chance that the defendant, who was in possession of drugs when he was arrested, could attack Mr Galloway again. Masterton will now be remanded in custody until his trial on the most serious charge of religiously aggravated common assault begins on November the 10th here at Isleworth Crown Court. Issa Ali, Press TV in London.